Imagine attending a peaceful church service, only to have it disrupted by a violent attack. That's exactly what happened on April 15th, 2024, at Christ the Good Shepherd Church in Wakeley, Sydney, Australia. A bishop was stabbed during a live stream service, and the community is left in shock and confusion. But what caused the attack, and what does it mean for the world and biblical prophecy? Stay tuned to find out. Hello, and welcome to the Extra Narrative. Today, we will be discussing a recent tragic incident that occurred at Christ the Good Shepherd Church in Wakeley, Sydney, Australia. On the 15th of April, 2024, Bishop Mar Marie Emmanuel was stabbed multiple times by a 16-year-old male during a live-streamed service, which was abruptly cut off following the incident. Despite some interpreting this incident as a sign of the end times, according to biblical prophecy, we will explore what the Bible truly says about the end times and how this event fits into that context. Bishop Mar Mari Emmanuel, the head priest of Christ the Good Shepherd Church Inc., located in Wakeley, Sydney, Australia, has been a bishop of the ancient Assyrian Church of the East since 2011, presiding over the Diocese of Australia and New Zealand. Known for his conservative views, he gained prominence during the COVID-19 pandemic due to his large online following. In heaven, there is no Catholics Orthodox. There is children of God that belong to Christ. However, his outspoken opposition to COVID-19 lockdowns, which he described as slavery. We really lost the plot. Statistics say that those who have received the vaccine, the death rates out of those who were vaccinated were more than the ones who died because of the coronavirus. It's just another type of flu. No more, no less. And his preachings against LGBTQ views, labeling homosexuality as a crime in the eyes of God, have stirred controversy. I just heard some news today. I was hoping and I was praying it's not true. Apparently, and I hope I'm mistaken, I hope the news are wrong because I don't want them to be true. But apparently, Another country embraced the LGBT, which is Greece. A Christian country for centuries on end. A history that is so rich in Christianity. A beautiful orthodoxy. What's wrong? Additionally, he has delivered sermons criticizing non-Christian religions, including Judaism and Islam. To the Jews, the Muslims, at least they've acknowledged the coming of, the, of Jesus Christ and they called him prophet, not bad. But the Jews, they've denied his entire existence. They said he hasn't come yet, we're still waiting for the Messiah. And you believe in Yahweh? Which Yahweh? Your, your Yahweh is Jesus Christ, my dear Jewish friend. His recent sermons on the conflict in Gaza called for peace. There is a lot of Palestinians got nothing to do with what is happening. They just want to live in peace. The suspect is reported to have expressed his grievances against the bishop for publicly criticizing Islam and the Prophet Muhammad. The stabbing of Bishop Mar Marie Emmanuel may be interpreted in various ways according to different eschatological perspectives. Some may see it as a sign of the increasing persecution and violence that will characterize the end times. Eschatology, or the study of the end times, is a complex and nuanced field of theology that has been interpreted in various ways throughout history. Some Christians believe that biblical prophecy foretells an end time that will be marked by chaos, violence, and persecution. However, others argue that the precise time of the end cannot be known and will come like a thief in the night. 1 Thessalonians 5.2 In the New Testament, Jesus refers to the period preceding the end times as the Great Tribulation, Matthew 24, 21, Affliction, Mark 13, 19, and Days of Vengeance, Luke 21, 22. This period is characterized by devastation, chaos, and widespread calamity, including war, earthquakes, famines, and pestilences. Bishop Mar Marie Emmanuel responded to the stabbing by urging forgiveness and Christ-like responses. His message emphasized love, peace, and refraining from retaliation, resonating with many and highlighting the importance of grace in adversity. 
I'm doing fine, uh, recovering very quickly. We thank the Lord Jesus. So there is no, no need to be worried or concerned. I forgive whoever has done this act. And I say to him, you're my son. I love you and I will always pray for you. The recent stabbing of Bishop Mar Maria Manuel during a live stream service has shocked the community, highlighting the need for security in places of worship. The commissioner says counter-terrorism police are working hard behind the scenes as they try to determine what led to this, while community leaders report a rise in Islamophobia since Monday's attack, and authorities will be on high alert during weekly Friday prayers. As the investigation progresses, it reminds us of the importance of combating violence and intolerance while promoting understanding and harmony in society. Ultimately, individuals must interpret such events through their own biblical understanding and theological framework. However, it is crucial to approach such interpretations with humility, open-mindedness, and a commitment to peace, unity, and compassion. If you found the video informative, please consider hitting the like button, sharing it with your friends and family, and subscribing to Extra Narrative for more updates and stories. In these uncertain times, it's important to stay informed about what's going on in the world. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos. We value your feedback, so please feel free to leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Above all, take care of yourself and your loved ones. Stay safe in this harsh world.